Hello loves, it's your girl Natural Lore and I am on a road tonight. I'm getting tons of videos out for you guys that I have been meaning to get out. And of course today is Wednesday and we're going to go ahead and get into our Wind Down Wednesday. Now um, I have a little different glass this time. I know I, got, I showed you guys my stemless wine glasses but these are my regular glasses. Don't ask me why they're so big. I guess you can call me a wino of sorts, something like that. But um... Anywho, go ahead and get your glass of wine, glass of water, Kool-Aid, soda, whatever you like, and sit tight. We're going to have a good one tonight. All right, ladies, as always, let's go ahead and start this thing off with a sippy sip. Mm-hmm. Yes, darling. And if you're wondering what I'm wearing on my lips, I have this, um... Star Looks Lip Liner, Luscious Long Wear Lip Liner in the color Naked, and it looks like this. I actually got this in my Epsi Glam bag. I've never used it before, but I didn't want to line my lips with something dark, so I went ahead and went with that, and I have on Just Peachy from Wet n Wild. All right, now we got that out of the way. I wanted to come and talk to you guys today about reality television. I know that some of us watch it, some of us don't. I want to know from you guys what your opinion is on uh, reality television. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you wish they would not make another reality TV show? I don't know. But um, as far as me, I am guilty. I raised my hand in the back of the room. I am guilty of liking Ratchet TV. I'm sorry. Unfortunately, I don't like that kind of drama in my life. So if I could watch somebody else's drama unfold, why not? I'm just saying. So some of my favorite shows are Love and Hip Hop New York. Um, Bless Wet and Heels. I was watching that a little bit. I really haven't gotten to, into it that much this season. Um, I love Inland Housewives, even though they can be quite messy. Um, I also watch Mary Mary and Marriage Boot Camp is also another one that I watch and um, I don't know if you guys were aware but uh, a couple weeks ago Jocelyn from Love & Hip Hop Atlanta made some allegations or some statements that the show was scripted. Of course we all know that the show is scripted. I'm not going to say 100% scripted because I don't know that but I know for the most part it is very much scripted. It's entertainment purely entertainment if you see it as anything other than entertainment i'm gonna need you to get a check up from the neck up because it's not that they really don't live like this in their day-to-day -day life they just really don't and you want to know the craziest thing about it let me put somebody on blast <laughs> so i was coming back from new york we stopped on the jersey turnpike and I'm looking to the right because I see this guy who's waving this female. He doesn't have a shirt on this summertime. And he's waving this female over. And I'm looking at my fiance like, is that Peter Guns? Hold up. Wait a minute. Is that Tara? Stop playing. So the whole time on this show, you're thinking that they're not together, they're together, not together. And when they in ended that, um, I don't know if it was the first season that had Tara and Peter's storyline up there. They said that, well... She made it seem like she didn't want to deal with him anymore, but we know from, you know, this season and the end of last season that that was not the case. But it was just crazy to see these two together because you think that, okay, he has a baby on the way. You guys have been together for 13 years and this dude just up and goes and gets married on you, have a baby with somebody else. It's crazy. Um, now, I do watch my Mary Mary because uh, I love them. Erica Campbell is my favorite. Yes, I said it. Put me on record as saying that. But um, Mary Mary gives me that balance. It's not that drama, uh -uh, I'm going to punch you in your face, I'm going to beat up everybody on the stage type of situation. It's regular day-to-day not drama, but regular day-to-day -day interaction that they that people don't get to see all the time. They have the Mary Mary that's on stage, and then they have Tina and Erica Campbell, who are just regular people, sisters who have worked together, lived together, grew up together, and and they just go through their trials and tribulations, and it happens to be on national television. Um, I really don't see anything wrong with the show. I absolutely love Mary Mary. Um, that's one of the shows that I don't have to feel like is my guilty pleasure because I could watch that with the kids. You know, Love and Hip Hop, you can't do that. It's like regular cable television, but people are going crazy. They're wilding out. 
and um, you have such shows as um, Preachers of Atlanta, Preachers of LA, and things of that nature. And I think people think it, it, people can consider things a little sketchy when you start bringing the church into it. Like you have the tankers, um, blood thicker than water, thicker than water, something like that. I don't know. But you have religious people who come on television and basically represent a whole religion, so to speak. And a lot of Christians and um religious people they're not feeling it and to be quite honest some of the things that they do display though i've never watched preachers of la or preacher of atlanta i don't even know if that's the name of the show but you you guys know what i'm talking about the only show i did watch was stick it in water and when it initially came on i'm like oh he buying jets he buying hummus they got big cars they got a thousand kids their kids got kids i mean I'm confused and then when you go to his church you see that his congregation is really not that big and when you get into the thick of things his money did not come from the church he is a musician and it came through that avenue so it kind of made me feel a little bit better about watching it not saying that you know it was okay for him to buy a jet but just knowing that he wasn't buying it with the church's money I kind of want to take myself away from the drama because things that you see things that you experience people that you hang out with those are things that are all feeding into your spirit and sometimes people can misconstrue reality and real life and they think that they're living this reality you know everybody want to have a big butt everybody want to have money everybody want to have big houses everybody want to rock lubitons but that's really not the reality of the situation a lot of these houses are rented a lot of these cars are rented a lot of these but unfortunately all this drama that's going on in the atlanta previews i got to see what's going on and i think they keep sucking me back in <sighs> i digress but um, reality TV came a long way from where it was, um, from the days of real world and road rules and things of that nature. That was truly reality television. They took seven people, plopped them in a the house. They didn't know each other from Adam, and they had to learn how to live, to get, live together, get along, work together, and all that other craziness. So that was actually reality television. Those reactions that you were getting from people, those emotions that you were getting from people were actually real you know what I mean and now it's everything is just really scripted and they just don't there's no genuineness should I say I don't even know if that's the word I want to plug in right there but there's no originality to it you know it's like okay I'm the crazy chick I come up on here I make all this noise so that I could be noticed so that I could come back next season and that's basically people's claim to fame who's gonna be the craziest person on the show and they're gonna be like "Ooh, this person brings in all the ratings so we're gonna have to go ahead and bring them back because personally I think that Jocelyn Hernandez for the way she acted on the last season's reunion she should not be coming back to that show but because she brings in the ratings of course money talks and everything else walks that's a shame and a cry but again i digress i'm still going to be tuning in um i'm sure you're going to be tuning in my question out of this whole video is when is too much reality tv too much when do you cut it off when do you say okay that show is crazy i'm not watching it no more or do you watch reality TV? If you do watch it, why? If you don't watch it, why? So, as always, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Join me here next Wednesday where the topics keep coming and the questions keep coming. And it just gets hotter and hotter. It's getting hot in here. So take off all your coat. I don't know why that came to my mind. I really don't. Nelly has a reality TV show, too. Bummer. you next week for wind down wednesday till the next time guys peace